day one. Anyway, welcome. We're playing uh, Last Plague Blight. It's uh, touted as a bit more of a realistic survival. Uh, I played the demo and it is a lot slower. Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, fair enough. A little contextual helps. And mouse button to zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. Uh, I chose the standard difficulty and I chose the slightly less realistic option, which basically gives you a map and you know where you are on the map. So we're over here near Tao. Uh, that's our home. The world is basically covered in blight and you can kind of see it, I guess, when we run over this way. Uh, you can see the little green clouds over there and that's the blight. And apparently it will grow. Um, so you have to worry about that. Left Alt is definitely one that I want. Uh, so it's almost like your Diablo-esque thing where you can actually see all the fun stuff on the ground that you want to pick up. Uh, at this point I think I'm just going to be focusing on sticks and long sticks. Uh, and Dog Bane. If I remember correctly, Dog Bane is an interesting plant name choice, but the Dog Bane... Oh, oh no space. That's right. The, the dog vein, you can break them down and actually make the the rope. Uh, we got some sausages. We got our bread roll. Bread roll. We got our bed roll. Uh, I can take two more dog vein. Oh, nice little sort option that they've given us there. Okay, so this is where we're going to build our stuff. Been a while since I've done it. What we can do is we can right click on our item and you can tell it to start a stockpile. A bit hard to see there, but there's like four little things that which designate an area. And by creating the area, whoop, come on. we've basically created a stockpile location where we can put our branches, which is really good. Because now when we look at our inventory, we've got a lot more space. Now, we're going to set up the campfire right near the water, I think. Uh, so that carting water doesn't become an issue. Cooking? Fire pit? Yes. Alright, let's do it. Yes, oh, this is the other part of this game. Yes, it doesn't automatically build. It's kind of like your blueprint system, right? So I've got all the rocks. Oh, they actually automatically got placed. But yes, you actually have to build whatever you're placing. And if you can get your blueprint down, you can go off and collect the materials even if you didn't actually have all of them at the time. And it'll then go in and just add them all one at a time as you're building them. And we're done. We've got a fire. Now we need to get some firewood stockpiled apparently. And I probably need to get the long stick stockpiled. So we need to chop a tree down. Let's do that. How about a young tree? You have a thin trunk. Chop, chop, chop. We now have a log. And you place the log down and then we chop it some more. <laughs> this is where obviously the game is just a little bit slower than uh, your everyday game where you need to produce a lot of actions uh, before you get results. Now for the firewood stockpile, we're going to put it nice and close to our fireplace. You do actually find new resources, <clears throat> so it's one of those sorts of things where you've got to build up your capabilities. And so I'll get kilns and things like that, and I'll eventually find some copper, some tin, and you bake better stuff. Whoa, tree exploded. Alright, we got a fire. But we need two. How yeah, can I take just one or two of them? Oh, that'll do. We got four. Blonk. Add fuel to fire. Gonna need to add a lot more wood to that fire, actually. Um, it's just one of those fun things where you want the fire going all the time while you're asleep. So firewood's always going to be one of those things that we're just constantly getting. So we craft with you. And we make a stone bowl using a small stone on the large stone. All right, let's do it. And you can speed these things up. It kind of speeds up the time required until it's finished. Don't need to do it just yet. But when uh, you've got tasks where you've got to make like 20 bricks or something, you obviously want to make it go faster. Let's boil some water from the river. A nice little bowl in our hands. 
left click to film. Okay. Oil. Alright, off it goes. Actually, we got berries. They're contaminated berries, but they're berries nonetheless. Drink all. Oh, that went well. Let's eat all of these. Yum, 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 yum. Eat all. As you can see, I've now queued up a heap of things, so you could just speed things up if you really wanted to uh, and get them done a lot faster. It's actually not. Oh, let's do that now. Zoom, 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 zoom. Rabbit snare. Create. And we were seeing a rabbit by the tree that I just fell. So, if we come over here, spy that rabbit. Cat. Alright, well, we're going to pop the rabbit trap over here. And hope for the bits. <gasps> you see the rabbit over there. It's an active trap. Okay, let's see if we can force this a little bit. Make you run to the left a little. That's it. Yes. Yes. Hey, nice. Kill it. We have a rabbit. Alright, we'll harvest the meat. Only takes one minute. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Oh, less than one minute. Okay, we'll just take it all then. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We've got our rabbit that we can now cook. We need a cooking surface. Takes 19 minutes, but we might as well do it. Rabbit hide, rabbit intestines. Make sausages out of that. Very nice. Now we got some animal fat, which obviously eventually rot, but so be it. Hey, we got cooked rabbit. Very good. Uh, sleep away the night when you're ready. So it's only 0.6 contaminated. No, oh, plus 0.6. So I gain 0.6 contamination. Eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Apparently you can't grab things while eating. Kaboom. Now I should have gotten a little bit of blight. Yes. I do have a little bit of blight. This has got nine hours left. So if it's an eight hour night, we should be clear. Uh, from memory, if the wolves come nearby, they see the fire, they run away. Which is why a fire is ridiculously important in the game, at least for a, a sleep. Lying down. Sleep time. Uh, eight hours to replenish energy, there's nine hours there. So let's sleep. We've got a bit of time. Dropping fatigues, coming back. Leave. Now, that's got one hour, so we should probably... Oh, we got the basic shelter task. Nice. Cool. Uh, creep. Right, three should do. We're going to need to chop a lot more wood. Add. All right, we got four hours. Actually, let's just grab the rest of it. Fire is going. We need to uh, chop down some trees. Hey, so it's red, it's green, it's green, it's green, it's green, it's green, and then it stops. Yeah, I seem to recall this. So it actually gives you an indication of when it's actually okay to build. So obviously that's too close. Green is good. There's going to be items that sit between, for example, the roof. And if you go too far, it disappears. So we should be able to cover our sleeping bag like that. And then when we go this way, it runs out. Are we going to be covering the fire there? That's the question. Ooh, that's borderline. Hey, that's looking a bit better. All right. Now for the final one. Very good, we did it. All right, place four supporting beams to connect the posts. One there, one there, one there. Now we want roof, we want a stick rafter. We need 
four more long sticks. My goodness, yeah, long sticks. I remember that from last time too. It's just that the long sticks were something that I just needed tons of. At least it seems like they've changed that the, they're uh, far more readily available. At least they are here for the um, in this little start zone. Okay, Which should allow me to place it right. Twenty six and nine more. <laughs> oh, so many. Have a leaf roof. How nice is that? Uh, and we are expecting to put a stick wattle wall between one set of the posts. Right. Wall. Stick wattle wall. Yeah. That's what I wanted. From that one to that one. Alright, what are you expecting now? 34 sticks and 17 long sticks. It's like, my goodness, what are you doing to me? Uh, the tiniest, tiniest bit of clay. Oh, there's a big lump over there. Nice. Collect the clay. Here we go. This is what we want. A little bit. All right, we need more sticks and long sticks. Need some more clay. Used to go in two kilo lots, but obviously not anymore. Long sticks. We needed four of them, right? But don't you come near me. I saw it. He's hiding behind those bushes now. He's a wolf. Enough space. light section. Hello, chasing a rabbit. Chase you into my trap. Not that I need much food right now. Maybe you can make like a dehydrating machine or something like that. I have a letter. Hello. Read. Uh, we have seen your smoke from afar. We will meet in two days. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. Give me a bit of time to, to do something. It's like, oh, you, you were here to drop a letter. The wall is constructed. Not much of a wall, but it's still a wall. <sighs> All right. So we need to start working on our clay stuff. All right. Do so we need a kiln? Kiln. Mud brick kiln. Do we need mud? I think to actually affect the um, terrain is pretty cool. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It was 20, wasn't it? It was 20. How nice. Now, I think we'll... Bonk it there. It's got one hour remaining. Oh well. Alright. We're in a good way. Uh, we need to find clay though. Clay's a big problem right now. Let's see if we can find some metal while we're here. Okay. Can we fall down there? Oh, we can. Nice. Tin. And tin ore. Yeah, you're mine. Nice. What have we got? Oh, copper. Yeah. Alright, we grab copper ore. Copper ore pieces. Copper ore. We can't do anything with that because we haven't got a pick yet. Four hours on the clock. We're still plenty to go. Can we stockpile copper? We can. Brilliant. We can't stockpile flint. Okay, so what have we got? Four, what was that? Eleven. I think I needed fifteen. So I need to make four more. Probably make some other things while I'm here. Like a crucible. Okay. Now, hopefully that's long enough that I don't need to worry. I'm tempted to expand my base and I know how many things I gotta pick up to bloody do that. The furnace though, that's good. I've got my crucible, which is also good. Uh, but I think I need to build the bigger kill. Need to be able to make some bigger items here. Okay, so we got 60 small copper pieces and 10 small tin. I don't think I got that much tin. Yeah, I've only got two tin. I got 10, 20, 30, 40. <laughs> That's annoying. With a hammer or a small stone. Okay, good work. Take out one little tin. Okay, so we craft. We'll do it with the tin first, right? Hammer. Very good. We got our tin. That's very good. Craft. And on that. Do it twice. Hey, got the saw blade. I remember this now. Yeah, you put it on the ground and then you fire the materials in the furnace, in the crucible. Oh, it's tin. Charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. Oh, that one, that one. All right, something to be worth noting with this. I've been umming and ahhing over it a little bit, but yes, 36 minutes is actually the cook time. Uh, the amount of charcoal that I put in there is for an hour. Now, there is a warm-up time. So that's 40 minutes. That's not going to be really good enough. So we'll put four in there. That gives me 53 minutes. Let's ignite it, and we'll see what happens. It's fired up. It's going 52 minutes remaining. It's at temperature. It's cooking. So we have enough to make that happen, right? So now I guess it's just a waiting game, right? Yeah, right? Oh, you got to hit smelt. That's stupid. What? We'll get a saw, and we're going to get an axe. I think that's pretty bloody good. I'm going to need to do a knife as well. Although, I don't know how a bronze knife is going to be able to uh, replace a steel knife, given that steel is certainly going to be better. And here I am set up at the very first place that I spawned. I haven't really gone anywhere. I've run across the map a fair bit, just in my local area, just like all around here. Ooh, it's actually some hills up here. I might have to go visit that. What are we going to do now, All right? We're going to grab it somehow. Surely we're going to grab it. It's going to be super hot. Grab. Main hand. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Done. And we've got a little bit remaining in the bottom. 
it's gonna harden, right? We'll be emptied if you place it in this slot, so no. I guess we'll just hold on to it then. That's a little bit annoying. Got seven minutes remaining, we'll just chuck it in here. Examine. Take the saw blade. That did not look very good. Salmon. Yeah, the condition's terrible. Is there some kind of skill that I'm missing? But yeah, it did, it did not come out nicely at all. It's good quality bronze. But it's only 50% condition. Okay. Uh, this opened up a whole heap of things. Okay, so we now need to make a soaking basin. Uh, and we need to place a clay brick kiln. Well. Should be able to go right click add to fuel hit on the bedroll have a bit of a break wake up on the new day leave there should be someone here there they are hello uh i got an hour to talk to you mr very tall cloaked figure finally meet who are you i am Ulrich from the k the sect called the followers of the divine flame we devote our time now to studying the blight and its origins what do you know so far uh, as you may have seen yourself the blight has already taken over all the populous regions in the land well i know that the town nearby here is yes uh, some sort of fungus yes i saw that too and we believe the blight is a manifestation of the great prophecy okay uh, it speaks to a time of punishing people for their hubris and evil deeds resulting in the ends of days very religious and that time has come now we believe so the prophecy also hints to ways to undo what has been set in motion Aha. will you join us uh, i come to offer ask you for help we are but a collection of elders not fit for more Dangerous tasks involving with our research. Will you help us? Well, yes, I will help you. Not from the religious aspect, but for definitely for the other problems going on. Uh, studied the blight fungus closely and have not found a way to use it for any beneficial purposes. Well, why would you be getting the blight fungus for beneficial purposes? You should be grabbing it to work out how to counteract it. Uh, one location of interest greatly nearby is the swampland. I remember seeing that. We believe it is flooded environment creates ideal conditions for the growth of unique substances that could be useful for the research. But it has dangers. Uh, swamps with hostile environments, predators, uh, worse than the blight. Fair enough. Uh, however, we notice that certain mushrooms growing in the healthy forest regions have a small therapeutic effect when made into a soup. That's spotted red cap okay uh, these spotted red mushrooms can be found in the forests they are very poisonous on their own but boiled together with a piece of ginseng and a bit of salt poisonous essence of the mushroom seems to be altered to counteract the blight oh that is wonderful so i can cure the blight and we've actually been given a recipe for spotted red mushroom soup thank you i needed that uh head to the nearby swampland and bring anything Bring back anything you find of note. You need to be sure that you are well prepared for the journey. Well, of course. Uh, we have a camp in a small cave not too far from here. Meet me back there when what you find. I'll mark the location on your map. Okay. Be quick. Conditions in the area will worsen quickly. Very good. All right. Uh, it was before that um, as soon as you talked to this figure, and it didn't matter what answer you gave them, it was the end of the demo, or at least. You couldn't progress any further. Uh, now I have the next part of the quest that I never had before, which is great. Uh, so this will be the swamp. Well, that is a swamp. But they marked the location on the map of where they're at. And they said it was a cave nearby, right? Uh, town ah followers of the divine flame there we go so we're gonna have to go to the swamp and then we're gonna go visit them but first things first my goodness they gave me a recipe 
Right, I found the bugger. So in the journal, J for journal, we go into substances and it has a list of the various things that you can actually make, I guess. So we need 20 grams of salt, two spotted red gums, and some ginseng. But I do not have any ginseng right now. So we, oh, gonna get lucky in this <laughs> right here, my base. Okay. I want to cure my blight. And then we might uh, wrap it up for this first episode once I actually cure some of my blight. That's in time as the wolves were coming. Boil it away. Give me the good stuff. And while that's happening, we're going to go and chop some stuff down, I guess. I should have a large tree that I was working on over here. There it is. What do we got? We got a clay bowl with a liquid content. We're going to drink it all. Oh, we're getting a marker. What we got? It's poison, but at the same time it's a treatment. Okay, so it hurts me, but it heals me. <laughs> we got 27 minutes of nearly one health per minute. Oh, so I lose 27 health. But at the same time, I lose like 15 blight. Okay, you gotta keep that in mind. My goodness. I should probably have only drunk half of it. Alright, well, it's done. I no longer have a blight infection. Obviously, I gotta wait for my uh, health to be naturalized, but that's fine. I'm actually really happy with it. So, um, I've got something that I can work with. You can actually plant those monkeys too. But I haven't worked out how to make the uh, planters yet. There's a way to till soil which I haven't encountered yet. So there must be a tool of some kind that I have yet to actually get. A flint chisel blade. I'll have to make that too. Forge steel, chisel, hammer, paddle. It must be the shovel. All right. I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna need long planks, short planks and nails. I have the ability to do that. I just don't have them made up just yet. So what I'm thinking is that um, with a bit of time, uh, I will, I guess, outfit my base. I guess that might even be the next episode. I'm going to spend a bit of time just crafting everything up, sorting out stockpiles, and I may even try and work out what I want to do. Because obviously I've spawned in here, we've got a swamp there, and we have our followers of the divine that I need to do quests for. But I've, this is kind of just like, I, I built here because it was the first place to build. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best place to build. There's, um, over here, there's another lake over here, actually. Although there's a river there, too. Ooh. Uh, okay, I think rivers might be good for clay. But yeah. Um, I'm kind of on the right-hand side of the map. There's the option that I could have built over here. It's more central... It's kind of in a forest, it's right near a lake, it's right near a swamp, near a town, it's near a river. Yeah, so this might have actually been a good opportunity to choose that spot. It's actually not too far from going to a mountain either, which, you know, maybe that's where I'm going to find lots and lots of uh, copper and all the rest of that. Albeit I need to make a pickaxe. So yeah, that will be next time. I'll try and set up my base real good. And it could be that I... Uh, <laughs> quickly start again or even transport all my stuff over here so that I'm a bit more central uh, to everything else that's going on all right hopefully you uh, enjoyed this uh, blight the last plague and I will probably play a little bit more of it even though it's a very very slow survival game there's a, a certain cathartic enjoyment that you get out of doing these sorts of things anyway I'll catch you next time and maybe I'll do it on stream catch you later